What's up guys, this is David Ingram and I'm here at Jump On It and today we're going to be doing an episode of Jam Pawn It where we find interesting and unique instruments from around the pawn shops. Uh, today we had found this banjo which is a no name, no brand banjo. My guess is it was actually built in the 70s uh, by a guy who probably bought it in a kit maybe from like a Stumac kind of company where they sell banjo kits and he bought it and he assembled it. The reason I think that is the inlays are as, although they're awesome, they have little birds and they have a star on the headstock. Um, it is definitely more of an amateur job, not what I would call professional. Another really interesting thing about this banjo is that it is an aluminum pot banjo. Most banjos are, are made of wood and they have uh, this bent wood that is glued together and there's some rods in there for reinforcement, but this is completely made of aluminum, which makes it a little heftier uh, and also sound quite different. Um, there's also this tone ring that is built into the aluminum. It's just one piece. The whole pot is one piece. Uh, most banjos will have uh, like a brass tone ring that is uh, built in, that is laid on top of the, um, the wooden pot that's made of mahogany or maybe, you know, could be pine or ash. Um, this is a really cool banjo, really unique, one I've never seen before. So, uh, you know, found this in the Riverside shop. So yeah, as I mentioned, this is an open back banjo. That means that there's no resonator on the back of this banjo. Um, and generally we play these styles of banjo in a style called claw hammer or frailing. Some people call it the bum ditty. There's a bunch of names for it. A bunch of tunings for the banjo. Currently this is tuned to what is called double C as in there's two C's. And I have a G, a G, a D. Um, this style is pretty common in a, in a frailing or a claw hammer style. Um, and so I play it by holding my hand like this and I frail the strings down with my fingernail, pick with my thumb. So that's a little of frailing. Alright, so I'll play this song. This song's called Cumberland Gap. Awesome, so that was this no-name 1970s-ish banjo. Uh, sounds awesome, very unique sound from the aluminum pot. Uh, banjo is an awesome instrument to learn to play. So if you're in the market for a banjo, come on down to one of the jump on it. Uh, see if we have any in stock. We always have rotating stock. Uh, and we're always willing to make a deal. If you're looking for anything unique for your next musical project or your next band, highly recommend checking this place out first. Uh, you might find something that you've never seen before. Like, I've been playing banjo, as you can tell, for quite some time, and I've never seen an aluminum pot banjo. So, come on down, see what we have. See you next time.